Chicago detectives flew out of O'Hare tonight for New York to question James Lewis not just about extortion, but about the Tylenol murders as well. Lewis is accused of sending a $1 million extortion demand to the makers of Tylenol, but he is also a suspect in murder and extortion cases in Kansas City, and that makes him of even greater interest to the Tylenol investigators. You put those things together, plus the, the statements he made in his extortion note, uh, he is uh, high uh, on our list of people that we have to determine whether or not he's responsible. Lewis has denied any role in the poisoning of seven Chicago area residents in late September. He proclaimed his innocence in letters to the Chicago Tribune sent from New York. So FBI agents reasoned that he must be reading the Trib in New York. The search was concentrated around newsstands and libraries in midtown Manhattan. We went door to door, uh, every business establishment, and uh, just asked if anybody should see this guy or his wife to call us. Someone did. Lewis was found sitting alone in the newspaper section of the library. Approached by FBI agents, he reportedly said that he was Lewis, but tonight at a court hearing, he refused to identify himself. So he cannot be returned to Chicago now on the extortion charge until after a court hearing in New York set for the 23rd. Authorities had established that Lewis and his wife were registered at a New York hotel at the time of the murders in Chicago, but investigators now are checking airline records between the two cities. Lewis's wife, Leanne, is still being sought. In other words, where was Lewis when poison was placed on the shelves of this store where Tylenol victim Paul Apprentice shopped and on the shelves of other stores, resulting in seven deaths? That is the question authorities want answered. Phil Walters, Channel 2 News.